Did you think it was going to start with a joke? Do you really think a man like me deserves to be ridiculed in the beginning of a story? No, not me. I am a Sith Lord. I do not make jokes. I am Darth Maul. Holy son of Kenobi, man, you're so going to get that part. I really believed you were evil, man. Really? You really think so? Do you really think I'm going to get the part? Absolutely. The next DiCaprio, man. Cool, cool. Oh, okay. I gotta go to my audition now. Kill it, man. All hail the Sith Lord. Dun, 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 dun. Hello and welcome back to another review on the Ken O. We channel. Today I'll be talking about one of my favorite figure lines, the movie realization line. And this episode will be featuring Darth Maul. Just look at that figure. It looks so beautiful. Hope the figure looks this good as well. I've collected a few of these figures and I actually recorded a review of those figures, but it was in their old format and that was during the time I changed my review format, so unfortunately, I had to ditch those reviews. I might do one in the near future, but for today, he's the main star, so let's start with the box. These figures just look so good that they become poster boys themselves. Each has their own title. This man is known as Sohei Darth Maul. Sohei meaning warrior monk? Huh, no kidding. One side you got his close up face and the other more mention of his title and at the back featuring his molding, option parts, his movability and of course, his two face. So let's take a closer look and see if it's all that scary. Re god damn. Literally this is a god damned face. <laughs> the lame puns. Drum please. Thank you. This is why I love this line so much. Just look at the amount of detail on that face alone. This is the face that haunts you in your nightmares at night, or turns you on, depending on what kind of person you are. The sculpt and paint application everywhere else is fantastic. It's mostly black, but there's some red shading on his shoulder armor, a nice metallic turquoise on his corset, copper brushes on the beat, all the folds on his clothes sculpted and the only cloth material that is made out of soft plastic is the leg flaps. Which brings me to my gripe. His sleeve which is solid and these folds here limits his arm from flexing. If you want to do more flexing, you have to reposition his arm towards the gap in the fold on the side. It's also funny that the back of the sleeve is higher than the front. So technically, if this sleeve was reversed, he wouldn't have so much problem flexing his biceps. So this is one design choice that really let this figure down. Another thing I also want to point out which isn't much of a gripe is that if you push those flaps away, it reveals this weird looking hip. So make sure you, when you take a picture, these flaps hide those imperfections. Overall, one major arm flaw on a beautiful looking figure. As for his Jedi moves, head and neck is connected on a ball joint so altogether he can look left and right, look up really high and look down, side to side, shoulder arm is on a ball packed hinge so move up and down and also around, arm 360 but requires some repositioning, move outward, bicep swivel, he has a double jointed elbow but as mentioned earlier have to work around the sleeve for more range. His elbow can be swiveled around, forearm rotation, wrist 360 and up and down, ab on a ball joint so twisting at the upper ab and also at the lower. Side to side, crunch that far but can only arch backwards that far. Split limited to the Mary Poppins skirt, kick up, kick back, thigh swivel, knee flex, feet 360, move up and down. Pivot, but no twinkle toes. As for the accessories, starting with the hands, he comes equipped with punching hands, grabbing hands to grab his mask, of course, or he'll be wearing that for life. And of course, lightsaber wielding hands, which takes a while to fit the handles in there cause the hands are glued together so it doesn't stretch which means you gotta twist the handles in and the handles themselves have grooves so play with caution but once it's in there, it's definitely secure. As for the weapons themselves, beautifully sculpted and painted, grooves along the handles, 
buttons sculpted silver gold and black for highlights and of course the translucent red to represent the blade and of course the blades can be removed and you can combine them by using this pack which is used to connect them from both ends this pack can be removed if you don't want it to stick out when you have both sabers attached so keep an eye out because if you lose this then the saber will forever remain unattached Lastly, he also comes with a Kabuki mask, which kinda defeats the purpose of trying to conceal his face because his face is more intimidating than the mask itself unless he wants to look more presentable in blind dates. Then, yeah, that'll score some points with the goth. There's a few gaps in his mask which stays on his face to stay put, but it's slightly on the lower side. And if you want to see his eyes beyond the mask, you have to tilt his head upwards, but it's kinda cool because you get the shadows from the mask covering his eyes. And here is the Sith Lord standing next to other figures from various sides of the Force. So, in summary, man, this figure deserves both these emojis. I really, really like this figure. Of course, it would have been a whole lot better had they made different choices to allow more range of movement. And even though the accessories isn't much, it's still plenty of playability for me. So overall, an awesome looking Sith monk. So I've got a few more reviews to do and then it's off to produce my special project which I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. Thank you guys very much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please help leave a like and subscribe for more videos in the future. We're currently at 2,800 subscribers out of the 10,000 goal, so the grind continues. Do let me know your thoughts on this figure in the comment section down below and I hope you guys are embracing your inner geek and having a great week. Stay awesome, take care and I'll see you guys at the next video. Click here for video 1 Click here for video 2 Click here to subscribe Click it Thank you for watching Arigato Thank you